Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane and today I'm doing a realistic rebuild of the Denver Broncos with Russell Wilson at quarterback. They traded a few draft picks. They traded Drew Locke, Noah Fant, big time trade. Kind of surprised Seattle did that, but it happened. We're here and I think Russell Wilson on this team is going to be incredible, but it's going to be more of a wait and see, especially because Jerry Judy just got arrested. Oh, I don't know, maybe two hours ago. Don't know exactly what it was for. We're going to have to wait and see. But we have Melvin Gordon at running back. Javante Williams, who I love. I was hoping he was going to be the starter this year. Who knows? He still might be. Maybe they'll have Melvin Gordon as the backup. I kind of doubt it, but we're going to have to wait and see. We have Cameron Sutton. We have Tim Patrick, KJ Hamler. Pretty good offensive line. I like what we have, the pieces that we have. Then on defense, we have Justin Simmons, Patrick Sartan, Darby Williams. Pretty good linebackers with Chubb and Randy Gregory. That was kind of a surprise there, but the division's hard. With the Chiefs, the Chargers, even the Raiders, even though they have Josh McDaniels at head coach, who I did like for the Patriots at offensive coordinator, but last time around, he wanted to draft Tim Tebow, so, and he just traded for Jared Stidham today, so who knows what's going on. But let's get right into it. Here we go. Now, that's a great way to start off. We didn't go 7-10. We won the division at 13-4. and four. I don't know exactly where that puts us in the playoff bracket. Hoping that, actually, it wouldn't be the number one seed. Number two seed. Colts got the first round by. The Packers got the first round by. Colts with Matt Ryan. Very, very interesting. Russell Wilson not blowing us away, though. 4,100 yards, 26 touchdowns, 15 interceptions, 67% completion. I'll take that. But 26 and 15, not great. Melvin Gordon, 1,400 yards, 11 touchdowns. But check it out. 24 touchdowns for Javante Williams. Absolute beast. I don't know if I've ever seen that. That almost has to be a record, right? It has to be. We'll check that out in a second. Sutton, 1,100 with six. Patrick, 850 with three. Albert with 10. Albert O. Uh, Jerry Judy, four touchdowns, 750. On defense, Baron Browning with 103. I remember him, of course. Uh, ten and a half sacks for Chubb, seven and a half for Gregory, six for Jones. Interceptions, four for Sertan, and a few twos. Okay, so it wasn't the record. I was off by four, though. But, I mean, 24 in 2021, 2022, what it will be next year, not that bad. Lamar Jackson with the MVP. Javante Williams getting the shaft because he should be up there. We're number two in Vic Fangio. Uh, offensive player. I don't even know why I look at these. Let's see, though. Playing the 10-7 and seven Cincinnati Bengals. Just lost in the Super Bowl to the Rams. And they beat us 31-28. to 28. Wilson with three interceptions and Burrow has two interceptions. Mixon, Gordon, Williams, and Perrine with touchdowns. And Elijah Penny with a touchdown. Okay, touchdown for Sutton, touchdown for Tim Patrick. I mean, they do both have good defenses, I guess. I, I don't know, man. The Bills finally did it. I don't know. It's been a while since the Bills have won a Super Bowl in any of my videos, but they beat the Bucs 30-24. Josh Allen can't get the Super Bowl MVP. Wonder why, but he can't win the Super Bowl MVP. Now, I'm not really sure what the money situation is for the Broncos. They're not bringing back Gordon or Jackson. Malik Reed, we don't need to bring back. Okay, nobody we have to bring back. And usually year one after the draft, this thing's all kinds of messed up. So kind of have to expect that. $24 million in cap space, though. I know I tend to lean this way in a lot of my rebuilds, but we're going to bring in Ronnie Harrison, strong safeties, 81 overall, star development, scheme fit. Kareem Jackson's gone, so we need to fill that void. Now, of course, we don't have our first or second round pick, so send him out the door. By the way, we did get Ronnie Harrison. We're going to try out a left tackle in the third round. This is the only draft pick we're going to show, but normal development, 87 strength. A injury? Ugh, that's not good. So I wanted to see what Seattle did with these picks. So they took a tight end, 75 overall, I'll give them that, and they took a center, 67 overall, our corner. Center. Cornerback, 67 overall. Not how I would use the picks, but that seems like right down the lane of the Seattle Seahawks. So nothing's really changed on this team other than Ronnie Harrison. I moved a few offensive linemen around, and we don't have Melvin Gordon on the team anymore. Which, in theory, might make us better, because uh, Javante Williams, rather. 24 touchdowns. How does this happen? How are we 7-10 again? Just, just tell me... Just tell me how we're 7 and 10 again. That's all I'm asking because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. 7 and 10, year after year after year after year after year, no matter what I do, no matter what the overall is, I could already feel it in my bones starting to hate Madden. I can feel it. Russell Wilson, 4,000 yards, 27 and 14. So basically the same as last year. Javante Williams, only 12 touchdowns. I only, only, only. 
1,400 yards for Javante Williams. Receiving Sutton, 964, six touchdowns. Patrick, seven. Albert, nine. Judy does nothing in this game. I don't really understand why. Joel, 130 tackles. We'll take that, of course. Sack total, seven for Bradley Chubb, five and a half for Randy Gregory. And interceptions, three for Joel and Simmons, two for Williams, two for Ojo Minata. Definitely said that wrong. And one for Patrick Sertain. So I skipped over the awards. Nothing to see there. Trust me. We're not going to like the only thing we ever have people up there for is maybe defensive player of the year and maybe rookies. And we don't have any good rookies. So we'll just skip over it. We'll save your time. We'll save my time. But we have Javante Williams up to a 90. Sutton's a 90. Jerry Judy, 86. Albert with that star development, which we'll take any day of the week. Sertan, 88. We need middle linebackers. We need another end. And that's probably it. The Green Bay Packers finally winning one, beating the Steelers is saying finally, but it's been what at this point, 23 years, but the Packers beating the Steelers 31-28, Campbell, middle linebacker, Super Bowl MVP. That's very surprising when you have one, I was going to say Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers on the team. Now we have 45 million just about in cap space, so we're going to bring back Bradley Chubb, definitely Dalton Reisner, Jones, Joel I'm not really interested in. So just those three. Even Reisner, we don't have to. But that actually seems pretty cheap, all things considered. And we do have our draft picks this year, which is good. So really, middle linebacker and defensive tackle, all we have to focus on. And of course, in this game, you almost never find any of those positions that are good. Now we have 13-5 in cap space. Lamar's up there. Terry McLaurin's up there. Uh, ooh, that'd be pretty good. I don't think we have the cash for it, but that'd be pretty good. 98 total points does beat out the Baltimore Ravens. Maybe we'll get lucky just one time. And we did love it. Oh, so we found our middle linebacker. Had to check out a few guys, but A pursued, A impact block, B tackle. D injury wouldn't be great, but we have injuries turned off, of course, or else this game would be awful. Joey Michaels with that hidden development. This draft is a home run. Michael, 75 overall. Pope, the running back, 72. Moore, the free safety, 73. Of course, he won't really be playing. Isaiah Metcalf, 68 overall. Not bad in the fourth round. Just very solid all around, other than this left tackle. But ignore that. Apparently, Moore and Palmer have hidden development. I didn't draft either of them. I drafted Michaels. I drafted Pope, the running back. Pope's not even going to be starting. Well, of course, not going to be starting. Not going to be the second string. But let's make him second string. Why not? But 84 overall. Time to go 7-10. and 10. We didn't go 7-10. and 10. We went 9-8, and eight and we missed the playoffs with the Raiders of all teams in the West winning the division. The Chargers went 5-12. and 12. I mean, that's all you need to know. And Wilson just keeps going down and down and down in yardage. His touchdown, his interceptions stay the same, which is fine. Javante Williams about the same. Who could have guessed? Three touchdowns for Sutton, nine for Patrick, four for Jerry Judy, stepping it up. On defense, Browning, 125 tackles. Sack totals, eight for Chubb, eight for Payne. Interceptions, three for Sertan, two for Darby, Simmons, Browning, and Harrison. Now, the one thing I want to check. Oh, Pope actually won Offensive Rookie of the Year. Not really sure why. Defensive Rookie, Michaels at four. Just give me a good development. Superstar for Michaels, superstar for Moore. Don't know what to do with them, though. I mean, you can't trade Justin Simmons. Eh, maybe you can. Maybe you can. Steelers made it to back-to-back -back Super Bowls, but couldn't win one. Kind of reminds me of the Bills. But the 49ers beat him 23-17, Trey Lance Super Bowl MVP. So we traded everything for Russell Wilson, so we have to bring him back. Jerry Judy, we're going to bring back. Hoosenberry, we're going to bring back. Jones, we don't need. Albert O, we'll bring back. Darby, no. It's OG Muta, I think. Gregory can go. Muti's going to come back. Big question, how much money do we have? A good amount. So we have about $21 million. We're not going to bring in Tyrone Smith or the Honey Badger. I mean, we have Browning, who's not that bad, but a Magic Patrick Queen with Michaels. Let's have some fun. I mean, might as well when we're going to go 7-10. and 10. Granted, we went 9-8. and eight. It is a tough division. I can't be so pessimistic about it, but like Madden just beat me into it year after year after year. At some point, you just have to accept it. Just be like, just bring it to me. Just give it to me all you want, Madden. I'll take it. Give me Patrick Queen. He turned us down. 
So we lost Randy Gregory. We have, I believe it's the 16th overall pick. If I remember correctly, we do. And we're going to go top guy on the board, Taylor Bayless, B Pursuit, B Block Shed. Everything seems good. Let's take him. Does have hidden development. Athletic rating's great. I don't know why this wouldn't all open. It might be the same thing why you don't know their overall, which I was mad at that when it first happened, but now I totally get it. So Bayless is a 72. This draft is not great. I drafted short in the second round. I thought he'd be way better than that. Left tackle. Granted, we don't need a left tackle. Corner Bowden. The computer took him. Normal development. Yeah, kind of a bad draft. And by kind, I mean very bad. This game is just so messed up. Wait, was that one that was a negative? Whoop, whoop. Nope. Everybody has a negative cap room. I was going to trade away Justin Simmons manually, try to get some first round picks. But now we kind of just have to stick with him. I mean, what a problem to have. I'm going to slip more down to corner. So we didn't go 7-10. and 10. We kind of bucked that trend. But we are 11-6, and six, second place in the West. We're going to play the Ravens, who are 11-6. and six. They're in 90 overall. Chiefs 12-5, and five, Raiders 9-8, and eight, the Chargers 8-9. and nine. Chargers kind of getting screwed. Now, Wilson, better touchdown interception ratio, 35-8. to eight, But the yards just keep going down and down and down. I'm imagining, like always, playbook scheme. Williams, 1,700 yards is awesome. 14 touchdowns. Pope with 10. Take that any day of the week. Alberto, six touchdowns. Five for Judy, 10 for Sutton, nine for Tim Patrick. Even three for Javante Williams, not bad. Defensively, Browning, 118 tackles. Should be Patrick Queen, but who am I to say? Sack totals, 14 for Chubb, 12 for Payne, eight and a half for Jones. Bayless is number six for defensive rookie of the year. And like always, oh no, we have Chubb at seven. Big news. Wilson's not even up there. Went 35 and eight. Let's see if we can take down the Baltimore Ravens. They have Lamar Jackson, who was a free agent. Typically, they don't bring him back. We beat him. 41-35. Great. Now we're playing the 91 overall Buffalo Bills. They're 14 and three. This must this might be tough. But we beat them. We're in the AFC championship to make it to the Super Bowl. Please, Madden, just one time. Almost went right past it. No, no, no. Yes. And we're playing the Lions? What? Now, of course, we're going to watch over like this, see what's going to happen. They got the ball first, I believe. We're up 6 to nothing, which doesn't matter. It's 7 to 6. 13 to 7. 13 to 10. Score a touchdown here. We're up by 10. Up by 3. Up by 6 at halftime. Up by 12. I'm feeling a little bit better about this. Up by nine. Now I'm not feeling great. Up by two. I think we won. Yes, we did. 29 to 27 Super Bowl champs. Russell Wilson, the two time. Wilson, 305 with a touchdown. Eh. Jerry Goff, three touchdowns, one interception. Can't get the job done. Touchdown for Williams. Touchdown for Pope. Receiving two for Brian Cleveland, whoever that is. One for Pope, one for DJ Chark. I believe that just said we have $113 million in cap space. We sure do. Javante Williams is coming back. Simmons, no. Sertan, yes. Wilson, yes. I thought I gave him like a four-year deal. Mainers, Bowles, we won't bring back. Patrick, we won't bring back. Browning, we will. We're going to have so much money. Now, I understand we have to pay a quarterback, but we're going to be pretty loaded. So we have $30 million in cap space. Um... I mean, at this point, we're just going to bring in a few players, and I'll show you who I get. So I wanted to bring in Rondell Moore, but he turned us down. But I did bring in Aaron Jones, the running back, to be our backup. It leaves us with $24 million. I almost went for Rashad Bateman, too, but I didn't. Ah, uh, there's no receivers up here at the top. Am I going to bring back Tim Patrick? I guess. Now, I mean, we have the 32nd overall pick in the first round. I don't think this pick's going to matter all too much, but we need to end pretty badly. So we're just going to take Larry Stevenson, who does have hidden development. Really? He's only a 70 overall. Uh, this draft is awful. But we are the defending Super Bowl champs, though. So we brought basically everybody back except Justin Simmons. So we're good. Ooh, Bayless was X-Factor. I drafted incredibly in this rebuild. Boy, oh boy. But we're actually loaded from top to bottom. So we should be able to go, you know, back to the playoffs at least. Hopefully not 7-10. and 10. That's so disappointing. I saw the 7-10, and 10, but it's kind of backwards. We went 10-7, and 7, but not good enough to make the playoffs. 
And Russell Wilson had a great year. 4,200 yards, 42-9. and nine. It just makes you wonder. I know teams, wow, 19 touchdowns. He must have in five years had 50 touchdowns. Way more than 50. He had 20, um, 60 touchdowns, 70 touchdowns, something like that. Uh, 1,500 yards. Receiving, Jerry Judy, 1,000 with nine. Albert with 10 touchdowns. Four for Sutton, seven for Patrick. Glad, I mean, I am glad we brought him back. Didn't make the playoffs, though. Browning, 131. Sack totals, eight and a half for Bradley Chubb. And interception, six for Sertan. Five for Browning, three for Palmer, two for Moore. Disappointing. I actually, let's go career stats. Let's go, let's go running backs. 81 touchdowns. And I believe all five years are in this video. Right? Why did I click on stats and now you're making me jump through hoops? Yeah, he has 81 touchdowns in this one video. That's pretty incredible. But that is going to be it for this video. Hit the like button down below, the subscribe button down below. Let me know what team you want to see me do next, and I'll see you next time.